Hey everybody! Um, today I'm gonna do one more soft neutral look, and for the lips and the cheeks, I'm gonna um keep it you know keep it nude, and um for the uh, and then for the eyes, I'm gonna use um Dulce de Leche with another um color in the crease. So let's get started. First thing, I'm going to take Makeup Designer's eye color in Galaxy and then take a crease brush like this and then I'm going to pick some from my brush, <laughs> flick it off if you need to, and then start start putting it in the crease doing a windshield wiper motion And do the same thing on the other eye. Use the face primer. Um, okay, sorry. Let me remove some of the Forgot to put the face primer down. How could I forget that? Okay. Uh, okay. Use a little bit of the face primer to And, you know, priming is one of the key things to do in makeup application, <laughs> as we all know for a fact. Try this again. So, going with makeup designery eye coloring Galaxy, and then put it in the crease, doing a windshield wiper motion. Should probably try to remember to, you know, do the priming in advance and then do it. But with the other. Um, eyeshadow colors by other brands that I have, you know, the staying power of those eyeshadows are really, really good too. I mean, I wish there was a way for, you know, these eyeshadows to have the same staying power as the other 
I mean, I'm not really used to dampening my brushes, really, unless I'm going for a really bold look, then... I guess that's understandable. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That's better. Try to remember for next time. Then... And next, after that, I'm going to switch to a different, to another eyeshadow brush. Okay. I'm going to switch to this eyeshadow brush and then go in with Dulce de Leche, like I mentioned earlier. Okay. And then I'm going to pat this on the lid. Staying under the crease, so it doesn't get all muddy. <laughs> Same thing with the other. Okay. Now let's stick. Yep. Easy to grab the wrong one, huh? Okay. So we're done with done with the dulce de leche color. Next, I'm going to go in with the Mud Cake Eyeliner in brown, and go in with the Mud 100 brush, uh, okay, and then, and then dampen the brush. Sorry. Then I'm going to line the eyes. And lastly, for the eyes, I'm going to do mascara, and I'm going to use the Makeup Designer <clears throat> um, Volumizing Mascara. <clears throat> Oh, 
one wants clumpy lashes. <laughs> Just bend your head back when you're applying mascara. So it doesn't hit your lid. There you go. Same thing on the other eye. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes, we can go into the rest of the face. And for that, I'm gonna Highlight my cheekbones with the Makeup Designer Cheek Illuminator in the color Spark. And for that, I'm going to use the Makeup Designer 340 brush. And then apply it to the tops of the cheekbones to give it a really nice glow. Depending on how much time you have for anything you anything you have planned in the day. Okay. Sorry about that. Lastly, what I'm going to do for the lips is I'm going to go in with the Makeup Designery Lip Pencil in Natural. And then, so I'm going to start with the Cupid's Bow. And then line the bot lower lip as well. Then taking the side of the lip pencil, start to fill it in. And what this does is it helps <clears throat> to make your lipstick last long, last a long time. So if you're, you know, about to eat lunch or, you know, anywhere, whether it be a school or at a restaurant with friends or family, you know, it shouldn't make your lipstick, you know, fade off. Okay. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Designer Lipstick in Mudslide. Or the Lipstick in Mudslide by Makeup Designery. And then 
Lastly, on top, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Designer Lip Glaze in the color Bare. All right, and that's it for, and that completes the look. So, hope you guys had fun watching that, and <clears throat> you know you can you know do the same look, but you know, you know maybe add like a nice pop on the lips, whether it be you know like a purple, pink, peach. I could have done that too, but you know you just have to know what you feel works best for you. So. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you guys have any comments or questions or recommendations or anything like that, let me know in the comments below so I can kind of, you know, plan myself, you know, in advance. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk to y'all soon. Bye!